In this video, we'll look at how to generate a demand curve based on historical data. So we have on the left in columns A and B, the price and demand history of a vacation package. So for each row, it's a price level. And at that price level, how many packages are sold? So we have price and demand. So in order to do this, first, Let's select the data. And next, go to insert. We're going to create a scatter chart here. And using all dots. OK, now we have created the chart. And as always, we should label the chart so that when we come back a month later, we know what this chart is. Insert chart element, axis titles, primary horizontal, again, primary vertical, and then edit this as price, and this as demand. And this is what we generally call a demand curve. And we are going to create a demand curve. So on this chart, right click and add trend line. By default, it's a linear trend line. And check this display equation on chart. And now we have an equation. Let me enlarge this. So remember, when we put in this equation, what this reflects is how the y-axis changes with the x-axis. So here, x-axis is price. We can edit this equation, actually. So it's minus 0 0.1064 times price and the y is the demand. So this is the formula we have. And basically, what we have is the demand curve based on historical data is here. Demand is equal to, let me write down the intercept first, so 300. 388.87 minus 0 0.1064 times price. So now we have used historical data to create a demand curve. Keep in mind that in order to create a demand curve like this using trend line, we don't really need so many historical data points. Technically, we only need two historical points of price and demand. One and two. So with these two price and demand points, we are already able to create a demand curve. So having more points just gives us more certainty on where the actual demand curve should be lying. And the example we give in the lecture we had a demand curve of demand equals 390 minus 0.1 times price. And as you can see, when you create a real world demand curve using historical data, the demand curve could wiggle around a little bit based on your historical observations. That finishes this video.